Welcome in all pineapple lovers. We are ready to go ahead and welcome in spring. Oh, so lovely blogger Audrey Keither and her special helper Vivian are gonna show us how to do this fun and fruity DIY. And today we're gonna be showing you a really fun project using items that we actually had on hand. Um, we're gonna do pineapple front door mat. We made a watermelon one last week the same way, but I'm gonna show you how to make one that's pineapple. You're gonna start off with any old acrylic paint. Um, I'm, I obviously got yellow and green for pineapple. Um, I have been using this exterior interior paint. It's almost gone, so I actually mix this with regular old, old paint. And you can either choose to use a stencil, which as you can see I've done before. You can hand paint them, but I love using sponges. I like the way the Magic Eraser one um, doesn't isn't as porous, so it kind of gives you a cleaner um, shape when you press it down. So what you're gonna do is just hand draw the shape of a pineapple for the circle part, kind of more of an oval. All I did was took scissors and just kind of went around the edges. It's not perfect, it doesn't have to be. Um, you can also touch up with a brush once it goes on. And then we wanted to go ahead and do the top part. So I just kind of did that with eyeballing it um, and I just kind of marked out the shape on the sponge. So let's go ahead and get started here. Taking our sponge and just kind of making sure it's evenly covered you can even wipe some off on this sides. About like so. And then Viv, you wanna press it down? Looks like an egg. <laughs> I know. Oh, oh. Okay, so what you're gonna to wanna to do is put even pressure from all, this, all the edges, make sure we get it nice and covered, and then you pull it away, and we should hopefully have some good coverage. We'll see. We can always fill in if not. Pretty good. What we think we're gonna go ahead and do is take our brush. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give it one more try here and you kind of like if you kind of jostle around a little bit it kind of tends to fill in and this um, was a nine dollars from target i had it um had it for about six months it's really smooth so it kind of takes the paint better and there are some other ones that are a little bit more rough but this one takes the paint pretty well and so what viv you want to help me just kind of fill in yeah okay so you're just taking the same paint and a any size brush you have a bigger one might go a little quicker but all you're doing is kind of dotting the paint on just to make sure you kind of fill in as much as possible. So we're gonna do about three of these. I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the green top. Put that aside. I'm gonna see how this looks. I also like this because this is a lot quicker. And yeah, there you go. Sorry, I took the paint away from you, didn't I? There you go. All right, press that down. I can get these paints out of the way here. And pop it up. And then so then we'll um, just go ahead and fill in with the green paint as well. Looks like a pineapple. Yeah, it does. That's the goal. I'm glad it looks like that. Definitely a really easy, quick project. And using this um, kind of as a stencil, using the sponges really makes it go by fast. Um, I highly recommend this one. Super fun kid project. That's a great family project, Audrey and Vivian. Thank you for that. Of course, you can use a variety of shapes for different designs, but hey, that pineapple seems to be the fruit of summer.